First of all, let's talk about this fund. Um, I, I heard something that we've been expecting for a while. Yes, we have. I mean, uh, well, I was really excited when I saw that news because it begins to give a bit more clarity to the situation. Mm. There have been a b number, bunch of funds running around, but it seems they've consolidated the Nexim Fund and the Bank of Industry Fund. Mm. I think uh, Mrs. Brume is taking strong leadership on this. And with the fact that this is a significant amount, I mean, $500 million is a significant amount that can spur. I, I really look at it as a spur for the creative industries. You know, entertainment is a bit of sort of a misnomer. I mm. think the creative industries is what we're talking about. Mm. Let's talk a bit about that industry mm -hmm. and how attractive it is, more so locally. Um, we know, I know, for instance, that on the music side, mm -hmm. we've seen huge improvements in the quality. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember what it was like in the 80s <laughs> and 90s. It's a totally different ball game right now. And obviously, it seems like Beyond Nigeria now, it's, it's now an African product. Well, well, I like to say, you know, when we were in Abuja, I talked about Nigerian soft power, and I like to say that I think the music, the movies, the comedy are already taking over this continent. Mm. Um, we're certainly getting into Asia. I mean, in one week, Nato Sea was in Malaysia, Malawi, and Kenya in, one, in seven days, and that's just one Nigerian artist. There's so many traveling all over the place. Um, what has happened has happened, though, in spite of you know, any support coming from anywhere except small little companies such as Storm and Kenneth and Question Mark and a few of the others that are out there, Chocolate City. So that's on the music side. But the Nollywood people have done in, enormous strides. Mm. All of these things have happened because of lack of real support. So mm. it's great to see that the government has come together with regulators and the financial community to say, okay, listen, mm. we may not really understand the sector, but we know something needs to be done. Here's a fund. Now we want to work out how they're going to deploy it, how they're going to apply it. Mm. and where it impacts. Well, obviously, we know that you've, it's well established in Nigeria, the entertainment sector, more so the music and mm -hmm. movies. But how big can it be globally? Um, we're looking at Africa. Mm -hmm. I think already mm -hmm. Nigerian movies are more or less household name in many countries. Every country you go to, it's not just on television. It's on television. I mean, it's like the movie hour at 10 p.m. is Nigerian movies, every, every country. Um, I just came in from Nairobi yesterday. Everywhere I went, it was Nigerian music, on radio, Nigerian music. Yeah. Um, it, really, what we've got to learn from the black Americans is about how to monetize our content and how to yeah. capture those revenues. And that really is something that, I mean, I'm involved with a company called Spinlet, which is rolling out a mobile platform from this month across Africa as a yeah. Finnish company, bought by Nigerian private equity. And that, to me, is the kind of thing. We need to combine technology with our content, and then we'll win. Let's come back to this fund. Uh, mm -hmm. How do we get this money out? Um, bankable <laughs> projects is what we we'll hear about yeah. from the banks, and that's perhaps one of the reasons why they haven't supported sectors like mining and mm -hmm. perhaps even entertainment. Mm -hmm. How do we make these projects ban bankable? Are we saying that it's only venture capital that can um, I think, I support think, the entertainment I think, sector? I think at the end of the day, the banks also have to become a little bit more inventive you know if they don't have the expertise to understand how to finance content industries which is really the key issue mm. then let's go to the places where they have that expertise mm. london hollywood go there get the expertise you're the bank get the financial advisory on board then tweak it for this environment and once you've done that you can come up with a hybrid solution which will fit for the market and fit for the bankers because the bankers need to be happy they need to be comfortable to give us the money mm. to go make the money because mm. the truth of the matter is you know avatar $500 million budget, which is bigger than, which is, which is the size of this fund, generated $4 billion so far. I'm sure if this fund generates $4 billion, nobody will be complaining. Absolutely. Let's <laughs> talk a bit about how far it can go again. Um, like we mentioned, it's already all over Africa. What about the West? What about the US? Well, we're in partnership with Rock Nation, which is Jay Z's company. I mean, in terms of um, digital and music and publishing and st things of that nature, um, the band, who's a big Nigerian artist, has been signed by Kanye West. That I think you'll see in 2012. You know, there's a bunch of artists coming out of Nigeria who are in discussions with major labels and major artists in North America and in Europe. So really, there's no limit. Tiny Temper is Nigerian. Tyre Cruz is Nigerian. The fact is they're not communicating they're Nigerian, but that's where they're from. Yeah. So there is no limit to where this thing can go. We can take over the world if we are given the support and the power. Indeed. And what's the prospect for a listing of perhaps an intimate country in, company in Nigeria? Well, if you look at it, for example, I mean, you look at Disney which is one of the biggest companies in the world. Disney licensing is almost a $70 billion business. Yeah. So certainly in Nigeria with a huge population, a massive youth demographic, a company such as ours, which is a small company today, but we've grown a big brand. Three years time, why, why can't we list? If we've generated the traction in terms of numbers and we get a good reputation and corporate governance, I think we can come to the market. Yeah, we look